Okay, um, just recently, a couple of days ago, or two days ago, specifically on this date, YouTube um, updated their resolution. Um, no one really knew uh, what was going on because they didn't post any official news to my knowledge or they didn't make it clear enough to most people what was going on. The actual new resolution is 1920 by uh, 960 or so far that's the resolution that we know of that will fit the whole screen. I don't know if this will update later, if it will then you know you can apply this in different resolution I guess. So what we want to do is we want to go into uh, Sony Vegas. we want to uh, take our footage and pop it in. Now by default um, this is the Vegas settings it should be by default anyway or sorry um, this here should be your default settings. Okay so what we want to do to uh, make it this the new resolution is uh, put the uh, width to uh, 920 or 1920 and the height to 960. So there's our resolution, we want to make this non-progressive scan, we want to make this 1 because that's PC uses square pixels, uh, frame rate 29.970, pixel format doesn't really matter for me, I leave it at 8, full resolution, best, uh, motion blur, Gaussian, adjust blah blah blah, uh, start all new projects with these settings. I use surround sound for my audio, um, so basically if uh, you want better audio, select 5.1 surround sound, uh, it'll be right on stereo by default. And just enable these settings, you can copy these settings and uh, you'll have a lot better quality audio. You can also make it come from an individual headphone or speaker. Okay, so uh, apply and okay. Now we have the resolution for the new YouTube, but as you can see we have these black lines which uh, is what we have on YouTube at the moment if we upload in something like 1280 by 720. So we, we want to fix that by either clicking this pan crop or right clicking video event pan crop. We want to go into here, we want to drop down source which will be uh, not drop down um, originally, we want to drop it down. Under maintain aspect ratio we want to put that to no. So immediately as you can see it's stretched to fill our screen. Now um, we want to counteract for, well, stretchiness in the image, it's kind of just ruined it and it just looks a bit weird altogether. So I want to make sure this box, this box will be checked by default, uncheck it and then we're going to stretch the image up, sorry down. Uh, basically this is going to counteract, you will lose uh, part of the image obviously um, but just think of that when you're recording your clip as opposed to uh, saying damn when you're editing it. Um, now close this and basically I'm happy with this we're gonna just uh, cut it right about there so we have our clip here and it's it's looking good so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take you to the encoding part of the video which is where we make it um, a very high definition yet a very small file size uh, what you want to do is you want to download this encoder by Ajax it's a um, H.264 encoder, so just download either the RAR or the zip file, depending if you have WinRAR or just normal uh, Windows uh, zip, and extract it somewhere. It doesn't matter where, just somewhere. And uh, so after you've done that, you want to render out your file. Now go to File, Render As. Now I'm going to render it to my folder, which I've, ex I've extracted the uh, encoder, and I'm going to render it to that folder so everything is organized. I'm gonna name this uncompressed. Okay, now we want to select this um, from the drop down box, we want to select video for Windows or .avi. We want to select the default template. Now with this selected we want to hit custom because this is very important when using the Ajax encoder. You want to put the sample rate to 44 the bit depth to 16 and if you're in Vegas 9 this is extremely important otherwise it will not work at all put this to stereo now hit OK hit save now depending on your system it will render slowly quicker on higher end systems it's mostly dependent on CPU um, video editing software anyway and basically 
Once you've rendered it, it's going to be a big file size. Seeing as it's completely uncompressed, it means it loses no picture quality whatsoever. So it is going to be a very large file, especially if it's a, a sort of longer movie. It's going to be really big. So now that's that done, uh, we want to go into our 264 folder, which I've extracted. And you can see here's our uncompressed AVI file, and it's 2 gigs for about 10 seconds. So what we want to do now is we want to open up Easy, uh, Easy Encoder here. Uh, we want to select the video file that we've just rendered, so this one here. Now we want to output file is basically where you save it to, so we want to save it in the same folder. Call it test. Okay, I use 29.97 frames. You need to use the same FPS as in your Vegas uh, composition, and uh, I use the preset. This one here, because uh, well, it's the best quality you're gonna get out of this encoder. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start encoding. Now, this may take a long time. This may take a short time. It depends on file size. It depends on length. It depends on computer. But seeing as this clip is very short, it'll only take a matter of seconds. So once this is done, it's basically going to be a very high definition, small sized video and uh, HD ready for nearly anything. It's just encoding the frames now. Okay, it's completed and now we have our finished version of it, which is 8 MB right now, which is not that bad. And uh, we can go ahead and check it out. And uh, we have a really nice image. So basically, that's it. That's all there is to it. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, if you'd like to drop by our forums, that'd be nice. Uh, maybe leave us a comment or anything. And again, I said this in many other tutorials, I don't have enough ideas for tutorials and the only reason I made this one was because people kept asking me how do I render my videos, what's the best quality, etc, and also the new resolution. So basically if you have an idea for a good dynamic tutorial, drop it in the tutorial section on the uh, forums, artificialanimation.co.uk, and that's about it.